we are almost there. Almost reached unit 13. But hey, we will have to stop at unit 12. Barvi unit hai. 12th unit we are into now. 12 episodes of What to How to series. Namaskar, welcome to Biotechnica's What to How to series. My name is Shekhar Suman and today in the 12th episode of this series, we are discussing about unit 12. It's very important to know what to study, how to study, what to skip. And in today's episode, we will meet our expert for unit 12, Mrs. Divya, Divya ma'am, who will be guiding us on whether we should study, skip, what are the important topics, units, priority, all that in a nutshell in this episode. So let's get started with by welcoming Divya ma'am. Welcome to the show. Welcome. How are you ma'am? I'm doing good sir. It's a great pleasure to be a part of this show for the second time. Sir. Yeah, it's it's indeed a pleasure to host you once again. So uh, Divya ma'am, uh, we are in applied biology now. One yes. unit before unit 13. How important it is for CSN it. Honestly speaking, it is not so important uh, from examination point of view because most of the students prefer to skip this unit. And the mm -hmm. main reason behind skipping this unit is the weightage. Very less questions okay. comes from this topic. Okay. So uh, for the starters, you can skip this unit. Okay. But what if we want to study? So we must know some more in-depth details. But you should know this, that the weightage of number of questions is very less. So ma'am, when you say less number of questions, how many questions will come from there? A minimum of a maximum three to four questions. It will not be uh, go beyond that. In fact, if I had to analyze previous year questions, only two questions came: one from Part B and one from Part C. That's it. Sometimes okay, okay. this question will be like two Part B and one Part C, or two right. Part C, one Part. That's it. Okay. And how long this has been happening? Like every year it happens, or it's yeah, just I, last year? Yes, sir. No, sir. It happens every day. Okay, so uh, like Divya ma'am said, very less number of questions are there. But ma'am, uh, if they have incorporated this into the syllabus, there must be some uh, importance. So uh, on a scale of a priority, which units, which, which uh, subunits or topics are important from this unit? The main thing is that we have some overlapping topics which is connected to other units. Oh, uh, so is it? That's, okay. Yes, uh, that's the reason this topic is this unit is there. Another thing is mm -hmm. that a topic which is called as agrobacterium mediated gene transfer. That is oh, yeah. always unexpected question from part C. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Apart from okay. that, uh, gene therapy, like that, few minor topics are also there. Overlaps are there. Yes. Sir, okay. Yes. Okay. So there you have it. Whatever is the overlap, you can study that. Right, so th that will keep you safe in case a question comes and you want to solve it. You can always have a free hand. All right, so ma'am, uh, which are the standard books we should refer to for this particular unit? Uh, this is basically a unit which covers only the superficial knowledge. So once we go for plant tissue culture, we can go for uh, uh, Indian edition books like you, Satyana, and J.D. Singh. That will be enough. Similarly, oh. we can go for Genome 3 by T.A. Brown. Then mm -hmm. if anyone is interested in uh, learning fermentation, one can go for Stanbury. These books mm -hmm. will be enough for this unit. Okay. 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 So ma'am, uh, one thing you said, you can straight away skip it. If you still want to study, these are the books you can refer. But how about the notes? Suppose we want to study and we are making notes. What, any particular approach, or a, a, you know, we should make, you should follow. For example, this is a fact-based unit or a concept-based unit. What, what is your take on that? Uh, one can go for comparison tables. For example, okay. uh, gene therapy, we have to uh, study by comparison. Then from plant right. tissue culture, we can go for somatic embryos. Again, that mm -hmm. is a classification. In fact, mm -hmm. in our Biotechnica portal itself, we are having concept table. So one can, right. use of, one can make use right. of that. Right. Comparison so, tables mm -hmm. will be mm -hmm. Okay, so that reminds me of the fact that if this uh, unit is not at all a priority, we can quickly scan through it by just looking at the comparison tables, which Biotechnica has. That's called concept table. All right, wonderful. So that way we can actually cover at least three, three questions if it comes. So, ma'am, uh, now we know the notes part. And uh, so uh, you forgot to answer, is it a fact-based fact -based unit or a concept-based unit? What's your take? Concept-based, actually. 
This is basically concept. a concept way. Yes. Okay. Fact, so on a priority. Okay. Yes. Uh, sorry to interrupt. So uh, on a priority of uh, zero to ten, where ten being the toughest and zero being easiest, what do you say? Is it very tough unit or easy unit for average student? Uh, uh, it is a medium actually. Not so tough. Not so easy because the questions, Somewhere. the parts. Yes, it lies in between because part C questions are basically graphical questions. So oh. you have to understand the approach, you have to understand the concept, plus it is combined with usually unit 4 or 13, techniques combined. So okay. you might have, one must have uh, idea regarding the techniques for sure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And only okay. one can approach this question, yes. Mm -hmm. So ma'am, uh, in our prior episodes, we were talking to the other experts and they said the trend has changed for genetics and they have started asking questions from portions where from where they have not asked questions earlier so that's something which uh, uh, titi ma'am told us so coming to this unit do you think that someday they will suddenly change the trend and increase the number of questions from this as a surprise do you think that can happen it is happening sir actually the fact is that uh, agrobacterium remains constant it is asking okay. us from the starting itself other mm -hmm. than that gene therapy Genomics, mm -hmm. even plant tissue culture was also skipped. It used to be a favorite topic of CSA. Yeah? They used to ask questions, but nowadays I did not find any questions out of that. Okay. So okay. Yeah, markers like that questions we can expect. Okay. So, uh, ma'am, looking at because students will always prepare for multiple exams. So, suppose somebody is preparing for GATE, CSIR, ICMR, DBT, and other entrance exams. Do you think this unit will come handy there? Actually, if we compare the syllabus, CSAR is a, a for 12th unit specifically, it is a very small unit. And if we compare right. it with eight more elaborate topics are there. Like we have plant biotechnology, animal biotechnology, bioprocess engineering. Separately, we are having. But in CSAR, we are having only subheadings, like one, one topic. That's it. We are not going mm -hmm. deeply into that. If we okay, so it will not help. Yes. Yeah, yeah, that will provide with some basic concepts. That's basics. it. Not for, right. Yeah, not for in-depth understanding. Then if we yeah. go for DBT also, the story remains the same. There also they are asking very much elaborately if we compare to CSAR syllabus. Okay. And regarding ICMR, basically it is medical biotechnology. So hardly these topics come. Very rarely we can expect some topics like sensor, biosensors, markers mm -hmm. like that. That is very rare. Okay. Okay. So overall, when I look at it, it may not help immensely there as well. So that means this unit can be completely skipped as well. Okay. So ma'am, uh, now coming to the last part, uh, what's your favorite question from this unit, if you want to take up? Uh, I would like to take up questions from agrobacterium only and as well as gene therapy. Gene Specifically, therapy. match the following. And statement-based mm -hmm. questions comes from this portion. Right, right. So, so ma'am, now uh, coming to the uh, students, they, must, they are all tense. They have reached the 12th unit and the 12th episode of this series. And they're watching right now. They're all tense. So what's your message to them? How should they overcome all the fear, nervousness, and stress and focus on the syllabus and try and cover it? So what's your message to them? So to all the students out there, I just want to inform, say one thing, stay calm and relaxed because a relaxed mind will help you in remembering and retaining many concepts. Second right. important thing is uh, when we look for unit 12, even though it is not important, but still you can pick up certain topics and you can study that instead of going through the entire unit. Correct. And uh, mm -hmm. since exam is around the corner, don't get tense. That's the main thing one should follow. And wishing you all the best. Everyone is having the caliber of clearing this exam. And you can do it for sure. So wishing everyone best of luck. Thank you. Thank you so much, uh, Divya ma'am. So, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, my dear aspirants of Biotechnica, CSR at you all now know all the tips, tricks, techniques of Unit 12. It's not so important. You can easily skip it. It will not help you even in other entrance exam also so much. The difficulty level is also moderate. So in a summary, you can easily skip it. So that's all about Unit 12 in episode number 12 of What to How to series. Now that we have come almost towards the end, Unit 13 is left. Remember, Unit 13 is a battle of its own. 
and that's why don't forget to miss watch the uh, next episode of what to how to series because we will be doing a complete analysis of unit 13 and how to study that very very soon in our next episode so to all the students who are getting nervous getting tense to get getting stressed remember only a calm mind can be creative and only a creative mind can study very simple very crisp clear you have to focus unidirectional focus towards your goal and any kind of help assistance by a technicians right here thank you so much for watching this episode i'll see you in the next one till then namaskar thank you bye bye